Yo, what's up? This your boy Derek Branch here at St. Discussions on Strikes and Sports. Today's video, man, I just want to just go ahead and just talk about what what, what transpired in yesterday's game between the uh, the Wall Saints and the Minnesota Vikings. They fall to five and five on the season after losing to Minnesota 27-19. Alright, so uh, it's just like I said, man. If you read anything, read or listen to any of my recent content talking about this game, I talked about what the Saints could not allow while dealing with Joshua Dobbs. And lo and behold, look, and they, they did. They allowed it. Um, I was at church at the time and during the game, but when I, after the service was over, I checked the tracker, right? And uh, the, the game tracker, and all I saw was Dobbs, 11-yard run. Dobbs, 15-yard uh, pass to Hawkinson. Dobbs, another five-yard run. Another pass to Hawkinson. First down, touchdown. It got ugly. And then I cut the game on, the actual game on, and it was just ugly. Defense, doing what they always has been doing. Not showing up in the first two quarters of a game against especially against like the type of quarterbacks you struggle you struggle against mobile guys and they allowed it to happen Dobbs he didn't have over 100 he didn't get over 100 yards or 68 yards he got 44 yards but this time he was more efficient through the air throw for over 268 yards two touchdown passes they just cooked the Saints man um Derek Carr, man, look. I know what happened to him was unfortunate with the injury, the, the concussion and uh, the shoulder injury, but, man, he was not good yesterday, man. He was not good, bro. Not good at all. Like the Thomas went out with an injury. I hope he's going to do be okay. Lattimore went out with an injury. Hope he's going to be okay. But Derek Carr was not good, man. He was not good. Prior to that injury, man, he was not. Um, and like I said, bro, they're gonna they're gonna sell it as, and hey, he was learning this year. Next year he'll be a lot better. Respect a lot better. That's what they're gonna say for Derek Carr. This was a year year of learning for him because playing a new system, um, new organization, new, different culture. Year of learning for him, man. But. You would think with the schedule that would that would um that wouldn't be an issue that he would be able to get this get get over the hump. But the Saints are struggling with these teams. You play a team that don't have their franchise quarterback in Kirk Cousins, who's playing like an MVP. You you at the time you don't they don't have their best wide receiver Justin Jefferson or their the best number their best I would say. Two or three wide receiver in uh, KJ Osborne. You know they only had Jordan uh, Addison and TJ Hawkinson. Their running game wasn't up to par that game in that matchup. But they found they found out a way to get it at, make it happen. Hawkinson had over hundred yards receiving, man. And that's what this, and that's another area the Saints struggle to deal with, depending on the personnel. Tight, really good tight ends. This dude cooked the Saints. And I know that was gonna go. That was gonna happen. He was gonna. Dallas was gonna rely on the short to intermediate passing game and deliver the football to T.J. Hawkinson. I know that was gonna happen. Throw it to the tight end. That was a safety play, and he took advantage of it. You know, second half. You know, the Saints made him look a lot, a lot more human <laughs> compared to the first half. However. Jameis Winston got in, played great for, for to a certain extent. Scored through two touchdown passes. But when we get the defense made to stop, we get the ball back, we couldn't execute because for some reason, Winston's, Winston started playing like this hero type ball. Like we had a lot of time left. We had a lot of time left. We still had our timeouts. 
had three timeouts left. Score was on, um, I think, 27-19. They had missed the field goal. And Winston had ample time back there to just be patient with the passing attack. Instead, man, he just kept, you know, trucking it down the field to the wide receivers. You know, and Rashid Shaheed made a a base of a, a, a simple mistake, man, by lining up offside. What's our what's our issue with that, man? It's like we're just bad situationally, man. You can line up off way offside, bro. Who does that? You know? I don't know of any other wide receiver that have, that, have, that have done that, like the Saints have, have done this year with being in the wrong position, missing the route, not running running the right routes, not um lining up correctly to be off, not be off sides. So that cost us right there because you had a big game by Alave, and it was um taken away because of the off sides. And then after that, man, it just the Saints couldn't get nothing going. You know, it was just kind of like it was kind of rushed. You know what I'm saying? Because if you done took our time, got got into the red zone, put some touchdowns up, this game would have been that game would have probably gotten the overtime because they couldn't stop us. They couldn't stop the Saints. You know, they couldn't. Alvin Kamara had made the two point two point conversions. It was going to be a tied ball game going to overtime. Probably the Saints would have probably won because at that time, Saints defense adjusted. And stop Joshua Jobs, but it didn't. So, with that being said, uh, James threw two picks at the end. That ended the game. Um, Saints five and five. Now you're going to your bye week. So, um, Dennis Allen already stated that Derek Carr will be the starter. He like he stated he liked what James did. Derrick Cole would be the starter. That's just what it is. And Jameis looked great, man, until up until those final moments of the game where he could have just took his time and, um, you know, do a better job of managing the clock, you know? Because this is, a, like I said, it's a rhythm-based offense, man. You don't have to chuck it down the field 45, 50 yards for a touchdown. Take your time, manage the clock, and put up points. But these guys failed to do that, man. Um, Dennis Allen got to get better, man. Dennis Allen, bro. Dude, this team has done a really poor a poor job of being prepared, man. For whatever reason, bro. He is like, they get a win, things become lax again. That's what it looks like, looks like to me. It's just too relaxed, man. You get a win, they get relaxed, then they go back out there again, and then the following week, lay an egg, and then it just cycle repeats itself. You win a game, lose a game. Win a game, lose a game. You know, so you still you still on top of the NFC South because the Bucks lost again, and the um, Atlanta Falcons lost again too at the last minute. You know, this time to Kyler Murray. So. You're still in control of the NFC South. But you have to wonder <clears throat> how long is this going to last? Because the team that, that catches fire in the NFC South towards the latter portion of the, of the season is probably going to win the division. And that's good. That's hard to even determine because it seems as though every team in the division has the same issue. Struggling. Well, my bad. I take that back. Tampa Bay won their game. Atlanta lost their game because they, they would have won. I think they would have been in control of the NFC South. Yeah, Tampa Bay beat the, the Tennessee Titans 20, 20 to 6. My apologies. But it ain't enough. That game, that win wasn't enough to put them put themselves back in front of the NF, on top of the NFC South because they're really over the top break over, over the Saints because of that win early in the year. But like I was saying, each team in his uh, division have the problem of not, you know, being locked in in the first opening, in the first two quarters of the game. So it takes them time, like three, at least three quarters to get, you know, get going. So the Saints just got a lot to work on, bro. They just got a lot to work on. Derek Carr, man, just what it is with it right with him right now. He just, 
offense doesn't move without it. It's a moving right without it. Hopefully things can get fixed during the bye week. They can heal up. Guys can come back healthy, but who knows, man? Maybe we might see more of the same stuff. This, you know what I'm saying? Dennis Allen has already proven that <coughs> has already proven that he's not a good head coach coming out of the bye week. Like Sean Payton was. Sean Payton was pretty much unstoppable, especially when he had, when he had his good teams coming out of the out of the out of the out of the, out of the, the bye week. You know, so but they gotta get going, man. They gotta get things going to this um, you know, they have a better year. They really do. You know what I'm saying? Because the more the more you look, you keep losing and losing, losing these type of games, you lose your momentum, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta they gotta lock in, bro. You know, you got like I would say one, two tough games remaining on your schedule, bro. In my opinion. You got Tampa Bay, not well, shoot, might be three. Depends on depends what the the way the Saints play, it could be three. You got the Lions left and you got Atlanta. You know, and possibly the Bucks, the game with the Bucks to determine the division. It'd be very possible, man. So we'll see how it's gonna play out, man. You know, but it sucks, bro. It, it, it's disappointing that the Saints lost this game. You know, because I thought, like I said in another previous video, I thought the Saints would have like eight wins on the season and they'd be well ahead in the NFC South. And it's long, you know. And I thought they were gonna lose to Minnesota anyway before when the season the schedule came. I thought this would be a game where they took an L at, but it wouldn't. But it wouldn't hurt them because. You're well above 500, and you can you probably it won't hurt you to take a take a L. You know what I'm saying? A loss. But yeah, here we are. So we'll see how it's gonna play out. All right, that's all I got for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Do you think the Saints will, you know, be better after the bye week and have the ability to secure the NFC South title? Also, check out strikes7sports.com for our slash Saints. Latest content on the Saints organization. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out with that.